How many different ways are there to keep your feet dry? Gore-Tex shoes, uncomfortably warm in hot weather, eventually leak in the toe area, limited shoe choices. Gore-Tex socks, feet feel clammy, difficult to get on and off due to lack of stretch and feet are dry but shoes get wet. How about waterproof shoe covers? I made a nifty pair of shoe covers out of Cuban fiber. I started by making a pattern. I got the length of the pattern by measuring along the side of the sole of my shoe. I measured a few points along the girth of the shoe to get the vertical points on the pattern. I incorporated the angle of the back of the shoe and the angle of the toe rocker. Then I added a half inch seam allowance at the free edges along the top and bottom at the center line seam and a one inch allowance for the velcro closure at the back. The center seam allowance is only added to one half. The other side will be traced with it folded over. Now I've cut out the pieces of Cuban fiber or Dyneema composite fabric as it's now called. Now it's time to start taping the seams. First I tape the piece down using green painter's masking tape. Then I tape over the ends of the seams. Now it's time to apply the 3M double sided tape. Cutting it off so it overlaps the masking tape. Now I use the masking tape to peel away the excess adhesive. Then I turn the part over. This tape is very sticky, so I like to use a safe method where I peel off the backing under the material. All hems are done and the tape is applied to the center seam. The pieces are aligned and ready to be taped together. I mark hole positions for the shock cord along the bottom seam and use a hot needle to melt the holes. I thread the 1 16th inch shock cord through the holes and knot the ends on the inside. Self-adhesive Velcro squares finish the rear closure. Aquaseal is great stuff. I'm adding a thick layer to the toes for scuff resistance. The finished pair weigh only 20 grams.